Hey folks, Ms. Gosling here. Today we're going to be discussing how to find the equivalent resistance in a parallel circuit. So let's go ahead and start by defining a parallel circuit. A parallel circuit is any circuit in which the current has multiple paths that it can go through. So let me go ahead and draw that for you. So here is our, our battery. And we start out with our original loop as, as usual. But what's going to happen is that our loop is going to split. And it's going to wind up traveling between two resistors in two separate pieces of wire. So to find the equivalent resistance of a parallel circuit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that 1 over my equivalent resistance is equal to 1 over the resistance of my first resistor plus 1 over the resistance of my second resistor. And this seems really complicated. It is definitely more complicated than a series circuit. But I promise once you've seen an example, it will make a lot more sense. So let's go ahead and do an example problem. So for the circuit below, I'm going to find my equivalent resistance, and then I'm going to use that to find the current running through the circuit. So let's start by listing out our givens. Looking at the circuit, I know that my voltage is equal to 50 volts, and I know that my two resistors, which I'm going to go ahead and call R1 and R2, have values of 10 ohms and 20 ohms, respectively. And now I'm ready to list out my unknowns. So for this problem, I'm trying to find first REQ, which is equal to something, and then finally use that to find my current. And so I've got two unknowns, which means I'm going to need to have two equations, one for each of those. So first, let's go ahead and write out my equation for REQ. So for a parallel circuit, 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So that's going to be my equation for REQ. And then I know that V is equal to I times REQ. So now I'm ready to go ahead, substitute, and solve. Let's go ahead and start by finding REQ. So again, I know that 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1, so 1 over 10, plus 1 over R2, which is 1 over 20. And what I can do is I can go ahead and get a common denominator for my fractions by multiplying this fraction by 2 over 2, which is, of course, equal to 1, and therefore okay to do. And that gives me 1 over REQ is equal to 2 over 20 plus 1 over 20, or 1 over REQ is equal to 3 over 20. Now, this has given me 1 over REQ, but not REQ by itself. And so to do that, what I'm going to have to do is flip my fraction. So 1 over 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over 3 over 20, or REQ is equal to 20 over 3 ohms, which I can leave like this, or I can write as 6.7 ohms in decimal form. So I've gone and I've found REQ, and now I need to plug that into Ohm's law to find my current. So I know V is 50 volts, and that's going to equal I times REQ, which is 6.7 ohms. And when I divide both sides by 6.7, I get that I is equal to 7.5 amps. So in the last problem, we found the equivalent resistance of the circuit and then used that in, in Ohm's law to figure out the current running through our circuit. Now we're going to do the exact opposite. So the circuit below has a current of 50 amps running through it, and we're going to figure out the value of the mystery resistor in our circuit. So let's go ahead and do that. We know, of course, that we're going to start by listing out our givens. So our givens are that the voltage is 50 volts, the current in our circuit is 50 amps, and the value of one of our resistors is 10 ohms. And that's it for my givens. So let's go ahead and list out my unknown. Now from the problem, I know that I'm trying to find the value of my mystery resistor, which I'm going to go ahead and call R2. And that is going to be my unknown. So let's go forward to the equation step. So I know that one equation I'm going to use is 1 over REQ is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, because that's the only equation that has my unknown in it. However, to solve this equation, I need to first find REQ. So for that, I'm going to use Ohm's law. So V is equal to I times REQ, or REQ is equal to V over I. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this value for REQ, and I'm going to plug that into my first equation, and use that to find my mystery resistor. So let's go ahead to the substitute and solve phase and do just that. So we're going to sub and solve 
And we're going to start by, again, finding REQ. So REQ is equal to V over I, or 50 volts, divided by 50 amps, which means that REQ is equal to 1 ohm. So I'm going to go ahead and now, again, plug that into my initial equation. So I know that 1 over REQ, or 1 over 1, is equal to 1 over R1, so 1 over 10, plus 1 over R2, or 1 over my mystery resistor. And I can subtract 1 over, 1 over 10 from both sides to get 1 over R2 by itself. So what I'll get is that 1 over R2 is equal to 1 minus 1 over 10, or 9 over 10. And then I'm going to take the reciprocal, and I will get that R2 is equal to 10 over 9 ohms. Now I can leave it like this, or I can use my calculator to write it in decimal form, which will give me 1.1 ohms as my value for R2. So there you have it, folks. You've learned what a parallel circuit is. You've learned how to find the equivalent resistance of a parallel circuit. You've learned how to use that in Ohm's Law. And then you've learned how to use Ohm's Law to find REQ and use that to find the value of mystery resistors. So now it's your turn to give it a try. Happy solving!